William Marcus Small. Man, congratulations on 12 years of pastoring the wonderful people at the New Calvary Baptist Church there in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm so privileged and pleased to be uh, your brother, uh, to be in relationship with you and your family. And I'm so thankful to God that God allowed our past to cross at that Proctor Conference consultation. Sucks. Now almost 20, 15, 20 years ago now. Man, congratulations on 12 years. Thank God for your brotherhood, for your path, for the way that you pastor, even your partners, <laughs> uh, for the way that you have certainly pastored uh, that great church there in Norfolk. And then, and then, you know, your preaching, man. So often in your preaching, you just take us to your couch, as it were, and you in, in, engage in, in therapeutic preaching, if you will. So man, congratulations on 12 years. Thank God for you and for your family. And blood couldn't do it. God bless, man. Enjoy your day. You deserve it all, bro. Come on. Man, so said, I don't see it right now, but I remember your name. <laughs> He said, I remember your name and I saw it when you left it. So when you come in, just ask for me and I'm going to give it to you. Watch this. He said, I know who it is because I remember you. And your card, he just shout, had your name on it. He said, your card got your name on it. So I know who it belongs to. So just come up and show up and I'm going to give you what belongs to you. Some of y'all still missing your shout. God said, there's some stuff that I have for you in the new year and it's got your name on it you just need to come up and get it God said I remember you and even if you think you lost it it still has your name on it you just need to come by and claim it for yourself and I need you to know that 2022 got some stuff for you but you got to make sure that you take everything you need make sure that you don't have to retrace your steps and even if you think you've lost it God said I know what it looks like because it's got your name on it and the promise is that it still belongs to you Reverend Dr. William Marcus Small words cannot express how excited I am to celebrate you in these moments celebrating you for 12 years of pastoral ministry i want to say congratulations you and lady c have been so faithful over this decade to remain dedicated and faithful to ministry i want to personally take this time to say thank you for the ways in which you have been pastor to me when I have been ready to throw in the towel with the doctorate program, when I've been ready to bang my head against the wall because I'm still looking for this manual on how to parent a 13 year old black son, when I've been ready to frankly get arrested and go to jail <laughs> with how to be a loving, dedicated, faithful partner, you have been there every step of the way in this last year to encourage me. And even when I didn't want it, you have prayed for me. And I want to say thank you. I so appreciate not only what you mean to the life of the wonderful faith community of New Calvary, but what you have meant in my own life, both professionally and personally. I look up to you. I so love your innovative creative ministry, the ways in which you wed psychology with theology. You are a trendsetter in this uh, field of, of church ministry for the ways in which you go against the grain and do what others dare not to do. I value and appreciate your courage. I also appreciate on a personal note, the ways in which I've seen you exude nothing but sensitivity, compassion, adoration for people in your inner circle. I also appreciate the ways in which you are authentically and genuinely you. And so on this 12th year, even though I have just met you in the last year, I have grown to really and truly 
love you and love your life. Thank you for all that you continue to do. Thank you for your ministry, even in the midst of COVID-19, in which our world has been turned upside down. How we understand pastoring has been turned upside down. You have been faithful to the call. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I look forward to celebrating the next 12 years with you. You can't get rid of me. I am president of your fan club from now until eternity. Maybe even longer than that. Maybe infinity from infinity to beyond. And so I just want to say, please stay encouraged, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your ministry. Keep up. Keep up the good work. I so appreciate you. I so appreciate you. I wish I could open my heart and let you see the amount of love that I have for you. Please, please, please know you have touched so many people. Please, please, please know that there are so many people who have appreciated and valued the ways in which you have ministered to them. And so please know that uh, this is uh, this is not a culmination of an end. This is just the beginning for all the wonderful ways in which your ministry now is going to move in some new and exciting uh, ways as we enter into the 13th year. And I'm so happy to be able to witness it and be a part of it. God bless you, my brother. I love you and I love Lady C. Now, we can be thankful in moments even when we got the blues. See, understand what the blues does. The blues is interesting because the blues feels, you can feel the anxiety in your anticipation. See, Habakkuk is a prophet with a common task, a task like all most prophets. He has to remind the people that God is still in control. That even though it looks like evil is winning, he's got to tell the people that God is still on the throne. Habakkuk has the task to let people know that God is still real and God is still working despite what it seems like is taking place. World seems to be coming apart. The powers that be don't seem to care about their responsibilities. Nations are looking against nation to tear each other apart and nobody is talking to the Lord about it. Everybody. The most memorable message of Pastor Small, although there have been many, would have to have happened in December of 2015 when he preached a word entitled, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. In that word, my takeaway was that no matter who you are or where you are, when preaching a social justice and liberation gospel, you cannot pick and choose who becomes liberated. That has been the guise by which my ministry has moved forward. On this side of pastoring, I want to thank my brother for being an awesome mentor, a friend, and a guide in this journey of the vocation of pastoring. I would also like to take a moment to thank Lady C. Malcolm and Taylor for sharing your husband and your father with not only me, with not only New Calvary, but with the entire world. I just want to let you all know that the impact that the small family has had on my life since my coming to New Calvary in 2014 has been indelible and I will be eternally grateful. Much love to the entire small family. God bless you. Well, as we were walking and moving towards the pet store, which I had imagined, and I had assumed that that was the direction that we were going to go in, I made a turn towards the pet store. I looked at the glass. I stared at the puppies. I put my face up against it. I knocked and I played with them. I did the imaginary story of imagining what it was like to come home to one of these bundles of joy uh, at, at my own personal house. I took my sigh, my deep sigh for the day and went on with the rest of the trip. But as I turned, I realized that my family wasn't there. No mother, no aunt, no cousin, no brothers. I was in the largest mall in northern New Jersey all alone. I looked around and I went to different stores and I tried to get some bearings as to where everybody might be. I called out a few times, but I got no response. I was alone in a big place by myself with no help, with no guidance and no instruction. I was standing there wondering, what do I do now? Anybody ever been there? Any everybody ever been in a place where the words coming out of your mouth, well, what do I do now? 
I don't, it doesn't have to be at the mall. Maybe you spoke those words when you were leaving your job holding the box underneath your arm when they told you that you had just been downsized. Maybe you spoke those words right after you signed your divorce papers. Maybe you spoke those words when you were standing at the graveside of your... Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whatever time you're watching this. I greet you in the name of the one who makes all we do possible, Jesus the Christ. My name, of course, is Dr. Gino Gibson, uh, pastor of the Mount Olivet Baptist Church in Columbus, Ohio. And I am here to pay much ado and blessings to my boy, my friend, my pack member, my brother, my mentor, my confidant, my counselor, even though I don't pay a deductible, all of that to my man, my man, my man, the Reverend Dr. William Marcus Small. Listen, man, I can't believe it's been 12 years. I remember sitting in our section in Hampton C4 when we prayed for you as you left Hampton to go put your resume in. And when I say we, of course, I mean my brother from another mother, our guy, Dr. Reginald Williams, the pack. And man, it's so amazing to see what you've done in that place, see what's going on in your life, not only your church life, but your personal life. You and Lady C, of course, and uh, Taylor and Mal, of course, Mal becoming a member of your great fraternity, legacy from your dad through you and to him. It's amazing. I wore mine though. I wore mine today, <clears throat> not because I was messing with you, but because I was messing with you. I had it on. I forgot I had to do this video. But anyway, listen, bro, you are such a gift to the body of Christ. I want to bid you kudos and all of those things and simply say, man, I love you so much. I, because you are, I am. We are brothers like that. And you help me be better. And I hope uh, uh, New Calvary knows all that you do, for, not only for them, but for others. And that they'd be more proud to have you as their leader. Listen, we make history and we're made by history. And I'm glad you're part of my history. And I'm glad you're part of history, period. All right, man, love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Pack forever. Congratulations, New Calvary Baptist Church and Dr. Small on 12 years of pastoring people. This is your boy, Pastor B, reaching out to you from Vancouver, Washington, just saying how excited I am that you all are still celebrating your pastor. It is so important that you let your loved ones know that you're grateful for them and all of the sacrifices that they make. I just wanted to also add that there is a call and response that New Calvary does beautifully with Pastor Small. Continue to seek God's face. Continue to allow God to guide and direct and speak through your pastor and do what it is that God is continuing to call you all to do in the gospel ministry. Nobody can do it like you can. God bless you, New Calvary. Peace.